Do you ever have days where you feel a rough of tiredness and you just look like an armpit and you're just like, can you not with life? Of course we all do. So today I'm going to show you guys how to create this look I call the girl next door. It's a look that will make you look wide-eyed, radiant and effortlessly polished. And guess what? It really is effortless to do. Without looking overdone, this is a lovely daily look to perk up tired faces. Now I have been testing and loving the Dream Velvet Foundation by Maybelline. It applies wonderfully with fingers, but today I'll be using the Dream Blender. By making long strokes, it creates a nice, lightweight, natural finish. Even though it has a soft matte effect, it has a gel texture which means it won't be dry or cakey on the skin. The result, I get velvety skin that looks flawless but natural at the same time. If you want your foundation to appear very natural, you want to start in the center and move outwards. And as you move outwards, there should be less product. As you can see, I'm only going to be applying to one side of my face. And on this side, you can already see that it appears a lot more flawless, still very skin-like. Whereas on the other side, it's a bit more red and more oily. Now let's even the other side up as well. Keeping everything light, I'm using a water-based concealer and I'm just dabbing it along my orbital bone. Now remember, thick, heavy concealer doesn't always mean it conceals better. Most often, it will only age you more and has more chances of increasing. For eyes to look young and fresh, always use a light refracting concealer. Since the Dream Blender is handy for reaching hard to reach areas, it's also great for blending concealer as well. Now in my opinion, I think the Maybelline foundation looks great on its own, so I don't want to take away the velvety skin effect by over modifying with powder. Instead, I'm just going to set underneath my eyes, around a nose mouth, and a center on my forehead, where I want to remove the excess shine. Hello from the bathroom! I got way too bright in the other room. Now this product Wonder Brows has made life so much easier for me. If you have extra oily skin or you live in a humid environment, I promise you that this product will not slide off your face halfway through the day. It's also a one step product helping me to save precious minutes each day. The eyes are going to be kept very simple. I'm only using two eyeshadows, a metallic beige and gold. This is all you'll need for wide alert eyes. Now I'm going to be applying the metallic beige on my inner corners first. This will immediately bring light into my eyes. Then I'm applying it to the eyelids as a base color to lift the eyes. And then using my little finger, I just simply blend very lightly. What happens is this will make your eyes appear glossy, which gives a feeling of cleanness. You'll see how this eyeshadow has immediately lifted my eyes so they appear less flat. Now to bring it out even more, I'm going to take a gold eyeshadow and I'm going to pop it in the lower corner. The gold will add a nice touch of chic and also helps to bring radiance to the complexion. Eyeliner should be black, crisp and fine. Stick as closely to the lash line as possible, making tiny strokes from inner to outer lash line. And as you reach the ends, you want to give it a nice flirty flick to elongate the eyes and to make them appear rounder. And as you can see, I kept eyeliner thin to keep the eyes looking fresh. Black liquid eyeliner will always make you look effortlessly polished. Next, curl lashes and apply mascara to create clear eyes. My lashes are sparse and short, but as you can already see, it immediately brings clarity to my eyes. Now, if your eyelashes are long, you lucky duck. For a nice full part, get that lip liner out. And I'm using this really pretty blush color from number 7. Now, I'm just going to line closely to the natural shape on my lip as possible. You don't want to extend it too much. I'm going to be using this gorgeous matte berry lip color. When you're rocking such refreshing lips, you won't even notice the tired eyes or the dull skin. Now, I like to also wrap a piece of tissue over my finger to lightly blot away the excess color for a soft and muted lip. Taking a contour powder or bronzer, I'm just going to lightly buff around the frame of my face. It doesn't have to always be by precise contour and point. A natural, subtly defined face with an extra boost of color can do wonders for your complexion. If you're looking and feeling sick, then coral blush is the way to go. Now to have your blush looking perfect all the time, you want to use a two finger trick. You simply just line your fingers uh, from the side of your nose to the side of your lips and then you simply buff on top of that and your blush will always look perfect. See? Highlight powder instantly gives you a I slept for 8 hours effect. 
Instead of applying it on my cheekbone, I'm applying it directly on the apples on my cheeks. This will make my cheekbones appear fuller, giving me more of an angelic and innocent look like the friendly girl next door. And now, this girl next door look is complete. This very minimalistic glowy look is perfect for fellow low maintenance peeps right there. You will always look polished and together. It wears well for every day because the eyes don't have a lot of products, meaning you don't have to worry about smearing. This healthy radiant look will look fab on anybody. Thanks for watching everybody, be good and remember to subscribe!